Hey guys, today we're going to talk about glomerular dynamics, which is a super high yield topic that is almost always asked on the boards. You're going to be seeing a lot of questions with an arrow, meaning they will ask you a question and the answers will be up and down arrows. And glomerular dynamics is one of those topics where they can easily trick you. Therefore, if you've just memorized the topic and did not fully understand it, you're going to be in trouble. Now, the first thing I want you to know is this formula. Filtration fraction is equal to GFR over renal plasma flow. If you know this formula, then you're almost there, halfway there pretty much, because knowing this will answer pretty much all the questions regarding this topic. Let's say the question tells us that there is vasoconstriction on the efferent arterioles. This is our afferent arterioles, this is our efferent arterioles, and the question is saying there is vasoconstriction here on the efferent arterioles. And they're asking us what's going to happen to filtration fraction, to our GFR, and renal plasma flow. Now I can already answer these questions in five seconds, and this is how we do it. First thing I want you to do is write down the formula. So filtration fraction is equal to GFR over renal plasma flow. Now, the way I want you to think about this question is that think about efferent constriction as a roadblock. So if, let's say you're traveling in a car and you see there is a stop sign or there is a red light or something. So you're going to decrease in your speed, right? This is basically the same concept. If there is a roadblock or there is basic constriction on efferent, the blood flow or the renal plasma flow is going to decrease. So renal plasma flow is going to decrease. And based on this, now we can answer the rest of the question because we know that renal plasma flow and filtration fraction are opposite of each other based on this formula, obviously. So we can say that if renal plasma flows decrease, our filtration fraction will increase. And based on this formula, again, we know that filtration fraction and GFR must be the same. So if filtration fractions increase, GFR is also increased. So this is pretty much how you would answer this question. Let's just say now we have the question told us that there is vasodilation on the efferent arterioles. Again, this is our afferent, this is our efferent. We need to know what's going to happen to filtration fraction, GFR, and renal plasma flow. Again, what we want to do is write down the formula filtration fraction is equal to GFR over renal plasma flow. Again, we can think about this the same as before, but the only difference is now the efferent arterioles has vasodilation. So let's just say you're traveling on a road and now you're trying to get on the highway. So you want to increase your speed, right? This is pretty much the same concept. You're traveling in a normal speed and then your speed's going to increase because you're getting into the highway. So what's going to happen to renal plasma flow? It will increase, right? Renal plasma flow will increase. Now, filtration fraction we said was opposite of renal plasma flow. So this will decrease. Therefore, our GFR, which is the exact same as filtration fraction, will also decrease. Okay, those were pretty much easy examples. Where it gets tricky is when we talk about afferent arterioles. Okay, so let's just say now the question is telling us we have vasoconstriction on the afferent arterioles. Okay, afferent, efferent. We have vasoconstriction on the afferent arterioles. Again, what's going to happen to filtration fraction? Our GFR and renal plasma flow. What we want to do is again write down the formula. Filtration fraction is equal to GFR over renal plasma flow. Now, the way I want you to think about this is we're looking at a roadblock before where things get filtered. Okay, so this is where blood gets filtered in every case, okay, between the afferent and efferent arterioles. So, if you have a roadblock, meaning there's going to be less blood going in, then we're going to have less blood to get filtered, right? So 
we're going to have decrease in renal plasma flow and we said we're going to have decrease in filtration or GFR because there's less blood available to get filtered okay so now the problem is what's going to happen to filtration fraction because if you think about it we said renal plasma flow and filtration fraction are opposite to each other so if renal plasma flow is decreased then filtration fraction is obviously increased right and we also said filtration fraction and GFR are exactly the same right so if GFR is decreased then filtration fraction must be decreased as well so which one is it it's neither of these filtration fraction will remain constant so if you know the formula you don't really have to think about all this you can just put common sense and figure out the answer so we have decrease in filtration renal plasma flow I'm sorry we have decrease in GFR and since the arrows are in the same direction we can say filtration fraction is constant now let's just say we have vasodilation at the afferent arterioles afferent efferent what's going to happen to filtration fraction our GFR and our renal plasma flow again we want to write down the formula filtration fraction is equal to GFR over renal plasma flow we said that this is where filtration happens between our afferent and efferent arterioles so now there is more blood going into where we need to filter, correct? So if there is more blood going in, then there is more blood available to get filtered. So our renal plasma flow will increase. Our GFR will also increase. Remember we said if these two point in the same direction, then our filtration fraction will be constant, correct? Renal plasma flow, we said, will increase there will be more blood available to get filtered since these two are pointing the same direction our filtration fraction remains constant so remember if we're talking about afferent arterioles either way if we dilate or constrict the afferent arterioles our filtration fraction will always remain constant what you need to worry about is our GFR and renal plasma flow and we're talking about efferent arterioles then we can easily just plug in the formula and then figure out the answer. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Please subscribe, comment, and like the video if you liked it, and share it with your friends and colleagues. Uh, good luck to you all.